Hello, I have a reason to invite you to my workshop. Because right now I will show you how I managed to sew a rather complex task. And it's really interesting. I am currently involved in a project where I need to measure the condition of this surface, how close it is to ideal, what depressions and elevations are present on it. I need to create a diagram of this surface, indicating where its elevations and depressions are located, and their respective heights or depths. The challenge lies in the fact that these measurements need to be made with an accuracy of up to 1 micron, and without expensive optical equipment. On my channel, there are several videos dedicated to autocollimators. An autocollimator is an indispensable device when it comes to monitoring flatness. With an autocollimator, you can control the linearity of pairs of linear movements arranged at any angle, including vertical ones, which is very useful. There's only one case where it's possible to replace it with a bubble level without compromising the quality of measurements, and that's when the measured surface is horizontal. And this video is precisely about that. Then, I need to transform this surface into an ideal one within 1 micron, reducing any convexities. In this way, an accurate strip plane measuring 1070 mm by 60 mm will be created, which will soon be used for repairing 3 meter long pairs of linear movements. The first part of this work, also very interesting due to the application of special and unusual technology, has already been published on my channel, here's the link. To move forward in this project, I now need to make this strip plane. If I have the ability to accurately measure convexities and concavities and their location on the surface of the strip plane, then I can reduce convexities by scraping, thus moving towards achieving a completely flat surface, the accuracy of which will ultimately correspond to the accuracy of my measurements. Therefore, I need the highest possible measurement accuracy, which is why I apply this technology and create these special tools and devices. I also personally polish these stones, there's nothing new about it, but there's a video about them on my channel, here's the link. It's worth watching as I used a slightly different polishing technique. Approximately this level of surface condition needs to be achieved. The surface is spotted, polished with a flat abrasive block, but the height difference between the matte indentations and the shiny peaks is within 1 micron, which is sufficient for accomplishing the tasks at hand in this case. This video serves as an introduction to this project. In this episode, I want to introduce you to the concept in general terms. Perhaps someone will provide me with something useful or interesting while I am working on this project, before releasing the main video with all the details. I previously developed and manufactured a special bubble level for measurements, which is convenient for me to use, with two small supporting pads, and with several interchangeable pad sizes. There is already a video about this precision bubble level on my channel, here is the link.
I have also created a support stand on which the workpiece is placed with the ability to be controlled in its movement relative to the horizon. This support stand is a sufficiently rigid structure made of granite, the details of which are glued together, located on a concrete floor and attached to it. So, nothing moves or bends significantly here. The precise adjustment of the microcator to zero is done in a maximally simple but still effective way, simply by moving it higher or lower in. The half-clamped holder, aiding slow movement by turning the rod in the holder. The movement of the workpiece relative to the horizon is carried out quite accurately by three threaded jacks and is controlled by three microcators with a sensitivity of one micron each. The jacks are simply bolts with fine threads installed in support nuts. The high accuracy of measurements is achieved due to two factors. Only the central position of the bubble relative to the level scale at each measurement step, which can be best controlled on the bubble level scale, and precise control of the elevation or lowering of the inclination of the workpiece in space relative to the horizon due to the high precision microcators. The bubble is brought into this central position by controlling the jacks. When raising one edge of the plane by one micron, the movement of the bubble relative to the scale is already noticeable, and it is clear that it has deviated from the center. Therefore, you can be confident that the accuracy of this method is close to one micron over a meter distance. I have thoroughly studied this topic, about the sensitivity and operation of precision bubble levels, and made a video about it, here is the link to the video. The microcators allow for precise determination of the height of movement, and therefore the size of the deviation of the level pad relative to the horizon, at each specific point, according to the measurement scheme, by fixing the readings and using simple and understandable mathematical calculations. This allows you to create a diagram of this surface, its depressions and convexities, relative to an ideal imaginary plane with an accuracy slightly less or slightly more than 1 micron, depending on your effort and the accuracy of the applied vial, as well as the temperature conditions in your workshop. This opens up the possibility of working to improve this surface up to an error of less than 1 micron across its entire plane. You can improve the flatness of the surface by erasing or scraping off higher points. That's the technology in brief. Right now, I am preparing a more detailed and comprehensive presentation of this method, which will include both measurements and surface alignment. As a result, this surface will become completely flat. But since this work is ongoing, I am looking forward to your comments. Your suggestions, opinions, criticisms, ideas, or remarks can influence the progress of this work. Thank you for following my work, for supporting me on Patreon, for likes and comments.
The theme of my videos often necessitates adding newly acquired information, unknown to the author at the time of video creation, regarding the essence of the video's topic. YouTube allows the author to delete any parts of the video sequence, but unfortunately does not provide the ability to add new frames to the video sequence. Therefore, the only thing I can do if I need to add newly acquired information to the video is to place it in the video description. So, for those who want additional information, please check the descriptions of my videos. You may find something important and interesting there. Sometimes I announce the availability of any devices I want to sell, again, in such cases, I place up-to-date information in the video description. Good luck to everyone. Goodbye.